Hi guys, Stephen here. Um, I want to do another video. Um, this time it's going to be a little bit of a different topic. Um, do rich alphas pretend to be beta? Um, now, I find in life that a lot of people that you meet, they have this persona. They have this way that they come off to people in general. But I always find with a lot of people that that persona, quite frankly, is just bullshit. I mean, I, I, I found that with a lot of people that I've met. For, it just, you know, just throughout my life. I mean, a lot of people who may appear to be popular, you know, nice, harmless people. They just want to be everybody's friend. But once you get around them, you see that they, they're some of the, they're the real they're the real kind of assholes. They're the real kind of scumbags. Um, and I think, to me, I think in life, you know, to have a bit of success in just in anything, just to have a kind of a, have a respectable career and respectable profession, you still have to be quite calculated. You've got to be real kind of, you know, you got to be, um, you got to be quite sharp. And you and you're gonna you gonna you're gonna have to you know play the game a bit. And I think what I find is with these people that are the like the very top, you know, I'm talking these people that you know super rich people like billionaires. They've got to be quite, you know. I mean, no question, they're, they're going to be ruthless. They're going to be very calculated, but they're also so calculated that they know that. And a lot of them, they're not all this way, but a lot of them know they have to be, they need this public persona. They need to come off like a nice guy, you know. And I, and I just want to, you know, do this video kind of talking about that and going through, going through just to me, you know, in my book, I think there are a lot of these rich people out there that do pretend to be soft, even though they're not. And they're, they're really, they can be quite harm, harmful, really. Um. I mean, there's a couple of people, and I'm going to, you know, talk about some of the richest people, you know, there's a couple of billionaires I've noticed that I find that they come off, <laughs> I mean, there's one guy I noticed, uh, a Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban, American entrepreneur, billionaire, he made his uh, billions, I mean, it was in software, media, I, I, you know, he's so many different businesses he has, um, you know, he, he owns the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. Or maybe he used to anyway. Um, you know, he's he's on that show in America, Shark Tank, which is like the American version of uh, Dragons Den over here in Britain. The show is Dragons Den. Very successful guy. Um, but I, I just noticed when I watch interviews of his, he can come off very like he talks in quite a soft way. Which to me, when I when I hear it, I'm like, I don't know. You you don't come off to me like you're this soft. Um, kind of guy. I mean, you hear these stories, and I've heard the stuff with Cuban. I've heard how ruthless he could be. You hear the stories of like when he's at these basketball games for his team, and the constant, you know, he's getting fined. You know, the referees are kicking him out. Um, you know, the way he's just—it's almost like he comes off like he's the manager. You know what I mean? Like he's the coach. Um. And yeah, he, he comes off like this real, just like domineering kind of guy. But when you, when I've heard him talk in interviews, very kind of soft spoken. And the content's not necessarily soft. You'll remember saying stuff like anybody who takes out a loan for a, a business is a, an idiot. Diversification is for morons. And, the, and these are just his opinions, you know. And I'm not saying I entirely, you know, disagree with them. But, you know, I, I it's just this thing that kind of like, it, it just stands out to me. I'm thinking to myself. No, you don't really talk this way in real life. You don't talk this way when you're out with your buddies or you're out do whatever at the weekend. Nah, I, I, I just, I, I don't buy that. Um, there's another what guy um, by the name of Bill Ackman. Some people might know that name. Not everybody might be familiar with him. American billionaire uh, Ackman. I think he's early 50s. He's a uh, hedge fund guy. Yeah, made a lot of money and I think one of his specialties is he, he shorts companies. He doesn't go long. He shorts. Um, I think he's made a ton of money ever since COVID. You know, he, he put a bet 
that COVID coronavirus would crash the stock market, and I, and I guess you know it did. Um, I think he had a twenty-seven million bet on that, turn it into a billion. Just crazy, you know the the, <laughs> the money that you can make. But he's another guy. I mean, Ackman's another one when I hear him talk. I mean, Ackman, the thing with Ackman is, Ackman is that soft looking dude. He's like, dude, that he, he, if he's going to beat you, he's going to beat you with his brain. You know what I mean? He, he wouldn't be, have been that dude back in the day that was getting in fights at school. If anything, he might have been that guy that got bullied. But Ackman, at the same time, yeah, he, he does talk soft. Look soft, but the thing is, sometimes it, when, you, when you hear him talk, there is still that thing of kind of like, hey, I'm the boss here, I'm the man, like, I've noticed that, but it's very, it's very subtle with him, fairly subtle, um, but, I, I mean, he's a guy, I know he had an issue with another, I mean, Ackman's Jewish, and I think he had a, a problem with another Jewish head front guy, I think his name was, from what I recall, it, I see, remember Carl Icahn, another big successful guy, and something went wrong when they went into business together, and something went wrong, and then they got in a real spat. I think there was a whole big argument on it about it on CNBC, which would have been great for them when it comes to ratings and stuff like that. But but he he definitely is another one to me from as far as like real rich people who and, and but the thing is I don't know if you could really say he he looks like an alpha. When you look at Cuban, you would say, yeah, Alpha. Not so sure about Hackman, but it's just that whole thing of coming off a certain way, you know, pretending to be something that you're not, really, basically. But also the thing is, I remember, um, I mean, I years back followed Alex Jones and Infowars Alex Jones. Um, now, you know, Alex Jones is a pretty crazy guy. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. Alex Jones is also a very intelligent guy. Like, he knows his stuff. If he didn't know what he was talking about, I don't think he would have all these different like people in politics or like Republican senators would talk to him or Trump would talk to him. If he was just a total, uh, you know, nut job, like a total, what do they call, tin, what do they say, tinfoil wearing hat, whatever they think, whatever it is. But I think if he didn't know what he was talking about, people wouldn't, wouldn't fuck with him. But Alex Jones, I mean... He's talked about this before about how all these rich people that really when it's all it's really in what in his theory was is it really is just training. They are, they have been trained to talk that way. They have been trained to talk in that soft way. You know, to to talk in a certain way where it's like they appear harmless. They get you to like them, but it's also it's more to do with they say. I know he's talked about how there's these studies that they they they, they say that. When it comes to like this real physical kind of like aggressive male activity that people are in kind of I don't know what it is but naturally again and some weird, you know it's weird to say that natural but it's like they're intimidated by that and so they don't they don't they advise these people not to real talk in a real aggressive way to keep tone it down um, which you know I, I could believe that I don't think it's too far 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 fetched of a of a you know using the air quotation is conspiracy. Um, but listen, I mean, I'm not fully down with all the, the, the Alex Jones conspiracy theories. I'm not, you know, fully down with the whole Bilderberg conspiracy or even with David Icke, the whole, you know, thing about the world being run by reptilians. But I could take some of their stuff and I could be like, yeah, yeah, there's some truth there. There's there's a fair bit of truth there even. I mean, I think it, it, you got to kind of like, once you get older, like, kind of like, I feel like you got to kind of like step outside the matrix, so to speak, and not just believe everything that, you know, that you hear on uh, BBC News, Sky News, whatever, CNN, Fox News even, you know, you got to kind of look, step out and look at like all different other types of, you know, alternative media, but, but also, I mean, you get, take a guy like Warren Buffett, right? I mean, Warren Buffett, um... Warren Buffett just, like, looks harmless, you know what I mean? He, he looks harmless, drinking cherry coke, you know, eating ice cream. And to me, in my mind, it's just, like, there's no way he can be like that when he's, you know, he's the richest, when he, well, I know, he's, I know he's not the richest man in the world anymore, but he was, like, what, he's, like, third richest man, fourth richest man. I don't believe you've gone through your whole life being that way. I mean... And just other things with Buffett, like Buffett, you know, he you know, avoids paying taxes, but then he wants the middle class to pay more. Just a lot of hypocrisy there. But the thing with Buffett is when I see him and I see him talk, it's like, I want to believe it because there, there's that respect there. I have that respect there for Buffett for what he's achieved. Um, but 
and I, and I feel like Buffett, there is a side of him that's just a real kind of like a, I mean, the whole thing of him getting a McDonald's every day and watching the pace, <laughs> there's just something kind of like, I find it's something amusing about, I find it a real kind of amusing or amusing, I don't know, but it's just, I want to believe that side of him is authentic, but then there's also that side of him that that could just be one big fucking act, I don't know, but I wouldn't even say he's the worst, I mean, but... I mean, the thing is, there's definitely that facade there with billionaires. Um, there's this guy by the name of Scott Adams. He's a Republican guy. He's a guy, really successful. Um, it's like a cartoon guy. I think there was like a very successful cartoon in America. It was called Dilbert. I think it's called Dilbert or Gilbert. Whatever. I think it's Dilbert. But Scott Adams was um, pointing out that billionaires, really, they lie when they say that, that their secret to success is passion. Um because that's just like a nice thing to say. Um, and that basically, you know, they're not going to tell the truth that they are just smarter than poor people, you know. And then also it's like, well, they can't say that they work harder because it's like they're, they have cleaners that work for them. And they probably work harder than they do. Uh, also, they can't really say it's luck because then if they say it's luck, then nobody, you know, is going to want to do business with someone who's just lucky. You know, so the, the easiest... The best answer that can literally give is just passion, because anybody can have passion, you know. So there's a lot of, there's obviously going to be a lot of bullshitting there when you're when you're when dealing with people like this, and it's also another thing I've noticed is like a lot of these billionaires they'll do these TED, TED talks, and there's all stuff I've heard about that before about how planned out it is and the training that these guys get for it, and the the TED talks does kind of, in a way, kind of come off a bit cultish in my book. Um, they were kind of interesting initially when I first came across one or two. I never really could be bothered watching that many, but um, but the thing is, I feel like TED Talks now it, it it means shit really. It's like any Tom, Dick, and Harry could have a TED Talks now. I mean, it's kind of it's become kind of I don't want to parody you be the right way, but it's kind of been become watered down the whole TED Talks thing. But I mean, and there's another guy that. I mean, I've got to mention him, Bill Gates. I mean, Bill Gates has this freaking persona of somebody that wants to is a nice guy and just wants to be your friend. Um, but to me, I mean, Bill Gates has sinister intentions, really. I mean, in, in my book, I mean, the thing, the thing is, Bill Gates was like, Comes off of a nice guy, like a nice guy, but I mean, it was known he was real ruthless when he was working at Microsoft. I mean, and I mean, there's the whole theories also out there about the whole stuff we to do with eugenics. Um, but it's just another guy that I I just don't I just don't buy into his shtick. Really, I don't. Um, and then there's the whole thing. Was it like two years ago that Gates like drank a glass of water that was like. It was made of feces, made it of shit. And you know what? I like, and this went over so many people's heads, but I feel like when Gates did that, like he was like subliminally telling us that if I can't eat, drink, or drink shit, then why can't you? That's why I really think that Bill Gates was trying to achieve. I don't really get what the whole thing of doing that is. I feel like this is his way of being like well i can do this if i can do it i'm bill, you know i'm bill gates richest man in the world or whatever why can't you why can't you take the shit that we give you that's what i get from it anyway um but then the thing is on the flip side i mean there are a lot of rich people out there that are very upfront with how it's just about money with them and they want to make money and they, they're all about capitalism and that greed is good you know the whole uh, garden, garden gecko rhetoric. Um, I mean, you take a guy like Donald Trump. I mean, Trump's the opposite. You know, Trump's up front with his ego. Um, you know, so you can't say that Trump's a rich alpha who pretends to be beta. No, Trump's not like that. Um, I mean, Elon Musk. I mean, some people might say he's alpha. Some might people say he's beta. I don't know. I mean, Musk is kind of a guy that's like I think a lot of people now on the right like him because he kind of calls out bullshit on the left and how ridiculous these people, like people who are socialists are that are, I think, what was it he said about socialists, that these people are socialists, have no sense of humor, 
go to a, a rich private university or whatever, but you're just pointing out the bullshit hypocrisy and fair play to him. I mean, I like you uh, you on how he comes off, you know. He's very open, you know, very transparent on Twitter, you know. He's very, he's very open with people, you know, and then I, I like that. I like how he kind of like wears his heart in his sleeve. Um, and also, I think Musk really genuinely wants the little guy to go on and do well. I mean, I think he's like a champion, really, for kind of like the little guy that he wants them to go on and make a lot of money. It was just when the stuff, the whole dog coin thing and the Wall Street bets, he seemed to be really behind that. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I think, you know, in closing, though, I mean, there's no doubt... Um, these a lot of these rich dudes that you may think look kind of like strong and tough. It's like they're putting on this act. They're, they're on, and when you see them, you know, in public, it's you know they they are pretending to like be beta, beta males, so to speak. Um, but also, I mean, you could this could be also applied to just people in general. You know what I mean? It's just always it's just like a perception thing. That's how the game is with so many people. It's just perception. This bullshit perception game. Um. But the thing is, I think it's not just a case of um, to do with rich people pretending to be something they're not. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, or, or what I'm trying to say, it's not just simply a case of people trying to be, be like, like, come off like they're beta, even though they know they're not. I think it's just the whole idea of people trying to pretend to be harmless. That's the thing that really, we really have to look out for those people and watch them. Um, because there's an agenda there. Come on, I think there's so many people who have that put on that front of, hey, I just I'm a nice guy. Hey, I want to be your friend. It's just there's an agenda there. They're wanting to get something from that. They're, they're either they're looking for control, they're just looking for something, some something, uh, you know, something out of you. I mean, I don't know. You just have to watch out for people like that. There's always an agenda, and certainly with a lot of these rich billionaires, you know. You really just have to think, nah, you're you're not this kind of nice guy, and you certainly don't, you know, care about me. It's not like you're coming over to my place, giving me all this money, and then you know you hear the always that stuff to do with charity, and there's the whole thing that that can be the whole stuff to do with getting tax write offs and what have you. There's always can be an agenda there with a lot of these people, but yeah, you you just have to, you know, and it, it, like I said, it like. Overall, it doesn't necessarily apply to rich people. It can apply to anyone in life that there's a lot of people out there pretending to come off harmless and pretending to come off like something they're not. But yeah, anyway, guys, this is my interview. Uh, sorry, what's I say interview? This is my video. Do rich alphas pretend to be beta? Hope you like it. Thanks, guys. Take care. See ya.